Oh, hello. I see you're back for part two. Yeah, well, part one was a pretty huge success. Been met with quite a bit of popularity. I'll link to that one, uh, video in the description so you can take a look if you haven't seen it. Though, that's unlikely. So yeah, this video will be about getting Warcraft 2 working on your local area network on Windows 10. It won't work uh, natively, so we'll show you what to install. It's very easy, and you'll be up and running. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Uh, but first, I have some more humans to kill. Okay, so of course, before we get started in this part two, you need to install Warcraft 2. If you haven't done that already, check out part one of this series where we install uh, War 2 Combat. I'll put a link in the description for your convenience, but that will walk you through installing Warcraft 2. <coughs> okay, okay, wait. Before we continue, there's a correction that I need to make from part one. I realize probably nobody watching this video actually cares about this, I uh, mentioned in part one that Warcraft 2 is abandonware. Okay, that's not strictly true in the sense of things being true versus untrue. Because it's not true. Uh, <laughs> so you can still buy Warcraft 2 through um, maybe multiple sites, but I know at least through GOG.com. And I like GOG.com. I use it. I've made purchases there. Yeah, let's just take a look at it. Okay, so here's GOG.com. I believe it was good old gaming, I think, uh, originally, or maybe still is. Anyway, GOG.com. As you can see here, their focus is selling DRM-free games. They have lots of very old games and a handful of new games um, that you can buy here. And yeah, that includes um, Warcraft 2. So if we go ahead and take a look, here we go. Warcraft 2 Battle.net Edition, um, some other kind of bundle. But if you go to the, this one, the Battle.net Edition, it's a $9.99, 10 bucks. And according to the description, you get, I believe, everything, um, including um, the original the Beyond the Dark Portal, the expansion, and they claim it works with Windows 10. As well, it even mentions up here that multiplayer is um, supported, but I don't know at what level. It, it says that it works on the LAN, um, but I, I have never tested this. Like I don't know how this version, if they've updated it to work with Windows 10 um, on the network, already like if you buy this maybe it just works um, I don't actually know um, maybe that's something I'll explore in the future but getting back to the war to combat and the legality or whatever I still think it's a little fuzzy because I already own Warcraft 2 I have it purchased so I own a license to Warcraft 2 I have the CD but my computers these days like most people don't have CD-ROM drives um, or even a DVD-ROM drive. One easy way of remedying that is to go to the uh, War 2 Combat site and then I can I can get it and install it and it's like exactly the original game and it works great. So you know in my mind I own this game using something like this there's nothing wrong with that. I am not either condoning nor condemning what you decide to do as far as purchasing versus downloading games. I'm just showing what kinds of things are available out there. So this is free. But again, I still think that most people who would play this game, like it's mostly for nostalgia. We're not looking at brand new players here. So uh, the vast majority of people who will use this, they've already bought this game. So maybe they've lost the disc or whatever the case may be. But they own it, and so if you own it already, something like this is like no big deal whatsoever. It's just allowing you to play the game you already own. That's kind of my take on it. This is a very old game, 
I think maybe the Battle.net edition might have come out in 99 or something. I think it actually said that um, back here that it is from uh, 1999, according to this site. So anyway, I just wanted to show the different options. So there is this versus uh, the War II Combat. It's very inexpensive. I do think this is a good company, and what they're trying to do is good as far as offering games DRM-free. I've bought things through GOG.com because uh, it's a great company. So, yeah, support them. But for now, we're going to show how to deal with getting War II Combat working on your LAN with IPX. So let's open our browser. In this case, Firefox. You use whichever you like. And we need to download something called IPX Wrapper. I'm going to put a link to this in the description for you. Um, currently, I am getting this from this solemnwarning.net website. That's where it is. And this is IPX Wrapper that gets IPX networking to run through UDP or TCP. You can see the list of games that it's compatible with, but it might work with other ones in uh, as well. But mainly we're concerned here that it works with Warcraft 2. So you'll click this to download it and save the file. And this is a zip file, so I'm actually going to go through what to do with this zip file. It's not a um, self-executable. So we're going to go to our downloads. Um, in Firefox, I can click the little folder, um, but it should be in your downloads folder uh, if that's how you have your browser set to download. And it is now here. Um, I've downloaded it twice. What we're going to do is we need to extract these files. So this is a zip file. It has these files inside of it. We need to extract them and put them where they go. In this case, they need to go where War 2 Combat is installed. So you can get to where War 2 Combat is installed rather easily. And I believe the default is that it installs to your C drive War 2 Combat. Like this should be where it is unless you've changed it. But you can also, if you right click on the shortcut on your desktop and go to properties, you can also choose open file location here and this will take you to wherever it happens to be installed. So if it was installed somewhere else, you can locate it this way, a uh, little trick. So notice that's the same, uh, the C drive. So once you get to this War 2 Combat, folder however you want to get there your most easiest way um, we now want to copy these files over into this directory um, that's all there is to it so you click and drag and that will highlight them all or if you click in this window you can push control a on the keyboard lots of ways you can highlight all of these files and then we are just going to click and drag and drop them over here. So this is saying one of the files is already there. Just do replace the file and that's it. Now it has added these. So there's no configuration that you need to do um, with this um, IPX wrapper. Should work and do everything automatically. So yeah, now when you want launch War 2 Combo, the IPX wrapper will be built into the game. Yeah. Uh, that's that. Now launch War, uh, Warcraft 2. Okay, at this point, you can click on multiplayer, and we want enhanced, and IPX network, and this should work. Give yourself a name, and notice I can create and join games. I'm going to create one. Sure enough. Uh, so that is how it is. If you have a firewall thing pop up, you can Alt-Tab to see it. If you do that and there's a Windows firewall pop up, go ahead and switch that to Allow, and then that should solve any uh, firewall issues you have with this um, U UDP forward. Uh, that's it. I'll go ahead and create a game and now you have to do this on every computer so 
do that on your other computers and they should be able to join this game. I'm going to do that now. Okay, as you can see, the other computer on the network has joined the game. This is actually on one wired computer and one uh, laptop on wireless. So this will work over your Wi-Fi or wired network. It makes no difference because this is tunneling the IPX through the UDP modern networking. So it makes no difference. So that's it at this point. We can select a scenario, add any options you might want here, and start the game. Okay, I'm not ready. Oh jeez, this is the tough way to start. Anyway, there you go. We're off and running. All right, well, that's it for part two of Warcraft 2, uh, War 2 Combat Edition. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more tech videos, maybe some ping pong, uh, mostly tech videos, though. I don't know what this channel is yet, but uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time.